Thank you, Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, today uh, I talked to about uh, efficacy of TADA uh, uh, for patients with TADA BPH together severe CP, CPPS. In common that, patients with BPH often complain not only rats but also CP, CPPS. CP, CPPS is associated with inflammatory process and often difficult to treat. PD-5 inhibitor have anti-inflammatory effect. Thus, we aim to investigate the efficacy of Tadalafil for CP, CPPS. This study included 74 male patients. They were diagnosed as moderate or severe BPH. RATS was evaluated by IPSS or ABSS cure index. CP, CPPS was evaluated by NHCPSI. They took Tadalafil 5 mg orally each morning for 12 weeks. First, IPSS was compared between the high group and the low group of pain subscore of NHC NHS CPSI at the baseline. Second, RATS and CPCPPS were compared before and after treatment. Third, the correlation between the change of NHCPSI and IPSS during treatment was investigated. Finally, the improvement of IPSS was compared to the high group and the low group of pain subscope NHCPSI. IPSS was compared between high pain group and low pain group at the baseline. 24 patients belong to high pain group. IPSS was significantly higher in the high pain group. Before and after treatment, all symptoms were improved significantly. The correlation between the change of NHCPSI and IPSS during treatment was investigated. The change of NHCPSI and pain subscore correlated positively with the change of IPSS. The improvement IPSS was compared to high pain group and low pain group. Decreased IPSS in the high pain group was significantly greater than low pain group. This is uh, some reference. Ant uh, alpha antagonist and fiber disease inhibitor were not effective in all patients with BPH, especially those with CP, CPPS. Tadal has uh, anti inflammatory effects on the prostate with hypertrophy. Uh, in other words, Tadal is sufficiently effective for patients with BPH together severe CPPS. In conclusion, when patients with BPH complain CP, CPPS, Tadalafil may be the first choice for the medical treatment. Thank you very much. Any, any questions? Any questions from the floor? So I have a question for you. I know it's uh, prostatitis is <laughs> very difficult to actually to even to diagnose, but if you, somebody has a bacterial prostatitis which then moved into chronic prostatitis, would be the same as the one so-called non-bacterial prostatitis? Would the same response from? Uh, uh, CPCPS is uh, assessed by only uh, NHS, uh, NHCPSI, but uh, we denied to, urinary tract uh, infection, but without VB3. Um, and would you, would you comment on, uh, I feel you, you're in your conclusion, you say it's uh, possibly that Tadalafil could be the first treatment choice. But if I understand the study correctly, you uh, have an open label study in all people got Tadalafil. And before we come to adv uh, the advice for basic treatment, shouldn't we compare it to another treatment uh, uh, or to placebo or to something else? Uh, pardon? Uh, well, my message is I think you cannot conclude from a, one, uh, from a single, uh, single arm study that the treatment is effective. I mean, the effectiveness of a treatment, we, sh we need to compare it with another treatment or placebo or active doing nothing group. Uh, sorry, I'm afraid I understand, but uh, use uh, NIT. CPSI, uh, we chose uh, 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 
first choice. Thank you. Well, okay. I mean, I mean, I think the study provides important insights in the association between chronic pain and chronic prostatitis and LUTs. So for that, uh, it is a valuable study. But I think we cannot conclude about effectiveness of Tadalafil in this study. If you have a single arm study, you don't conclude on effectiveness. Uh, um, we have to... Um, uh, uh, more uh, investigates. <laughs> yeah, we need to do additional studies. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much.